For over 25 years, Hardscape have used their experience and knowledge in the supply of hard landscaping materials to create inspirational urban spaces throughout the UK and Ireland. With expertise and innovation at its very forefront, Hardscape actively support landscape architects and specifiers with their efforts to design projects which mitigate and adapt to climate change. As supplier of both natural and manufactured materials, Hardscape are acutely aware of the difficulty specifiers face when making the right choice for their projects and our planet. For centuries, granite, sandstone, limestone, concrete and clay have been used as masonry and paving materials due to their hard wearing attributes. Whilst the core reason for their use hasn't changed, Hardscape are constantly looking for ways to make sustainable use of the resources available to them to ensure a better future for everyone. The source, supply and optimum use of materials is in the DNA of Hardscape. They encourage their team and clients to think differently and get creative when specifying materials. There are all sorts of options available for specification, which will have an immediate and lasting impact. Hardscape's sustainability strategy focuses on the choice of materials and its impact on the environment and the best use of the finite resources available, making Hardscape the perfect partner to collaborate with for environmentally conscious landscape architects and designers. This can be anything from small changes such as specifying random lengths for natural stone elements to reduce production wastage, through to using thickness calculators to ensure materials aren't over-specified in the depth of slabs or sets. Hardscape analyse all the products available to select specific materials which optimise the specification to suit design demands. For example, granites are often combined together in an aesthetic mix then engineered as a single entity, whereas the reality is far from that single entity. Every stone in that mix, as an example, will have a variance in its performance. Traditionally, when looking at natural stone, Hardscape would see a fairly generic spec showing 75mm thick for pedestrian areas and 150mm thick for road sets. It means that the overall amount of material required for this example project would be 825 cubic metres, or 83 loads of material delivered to site. Hardscape's thickness calculator is based on an equation specified in the British Standards 1341 and 1342. The key piece of information required for accurate calculations is the flexural strength, the lower expected value for the specific material in question. Every material will have a different value, and over time this value can also change depending on the quarry. In this example, Hardscape will use silver velar as the material that's specified. Silver velar has an LEV value of 12.4. Here, Hardscape have allowed for 150 by 300 mm sets with a class 6 usage, which is the highest class usage reserved for road streets and petrol stations. Hardscape have then allowed for 450 by 900 mm paving with a class 4 use, which is reserved for pedestrian areas, marketplaces, and those areas that are subject to occasional overrun by heavy vehicles. As you can see here, we're already able to reduce the depth of the slab specified by a substantial margin to 85 mil thick in the roadway and 63 mil thick in pedestrian areas. These changes have already reduced the required material by over 30%. Different granites have different values. Silver Lar, used in our example, is a European granite with a flexural strength of 12.4. An alternative, granite Montemuro, is also a silver grey granite from Portugal. Montemuro, however, has a flexural strength of 18. If we use this alternative material, you can see that we've managed to reduce the depth further. We're now looking at 70mm thick for the road set and 50mm thick for the pedestrian paving. We're now at 44% reduction against the initial specification. Just think of the emissions reduced just in the delivery of these materials alone. In addition, further alternative materials can be considered. As an example of this, Hardscape's natural stone face block, which is bonded using a geopolymer technology which replaces standard cement as the binding agent which can reduce CO2 emissions by up to a massive 70%. Hardscape embrace innovation to develop new products and production methods which push design boundaries and actively mitigate and adapt to the impacts of climate change. In this example, Gloucester Borough Council were undertaking a multi-million pound redevelopment of King Square. 
The architect's vision was to create a communal space with sweeping curved seating, drawing inspiration from the Seven Ball. A space that will be used during the day as well as the evening for events and celebrations. Contrasting granite was selected to represent the waves of the Seven Ball, with hidden lighting using to emphasise the rippling shape from the contrasting darker paving underneath. This extremely ambitious project involved over 750 individually sculpted blocks that fit together to create the four seating zones. The accent lighting needs to be hidden but remain serviceable following installation without visible controllers or hatches. The management of the lighting colour and intensity for each zone being controlled from an adjacent council building. The ambition of this project, its scale and complexity, combined with the challenge of delivering the project during the COVID pandemic, meant that innovation was required to overcome the challenges of remote working. Hardscape's solution was to embrace digital technology. Hardscape modelled the entire scheme in 3D to ensure each block and cut would fit together perfectly. The method of installation was also developed in 3D, including the creation of a detailed wiring plan, cable routing and lighting recess for each block. CNC prototypes were created in the chosen material to demonstrate the stone's wet and dry colour properties, its contrast from the paving material and how it would look in different lighting scenarios. With the client team, architects and engineers involved throughout via video conferencing, this ensured that their vision would be realised giving them confidence that the materials and finish would exceed their very high expectations. Once all of the key decisions have been agreed digitally, Hardscape's team managed the production of the 750 interlocking blocks, dry fitting each wave in their factory, ensuring the fit and finish and the cabling will be unimpeded when installed. Installation was undertaken without any issues and as anticipated because of the detailed planning and preparation. The end result is stunning, bringing many elements of King Square development, which are now being enjoyed by the public during the day and in the evening. Hardscape is proud to have been a member of the Stone Federation for well over 10 years. They are acutely aware of the complexities designers and specifiers face when looking to make the right material choices when considering cost, ethical, environmental and sustainable criteria for placemaking in the public realm. You can see a great example of this here in the recently completed phase one of the Strand in Liverpool, consisting of multiple sources of natural stone seating, paving and drainage mitigation. Hardscape have received many Stone Federation awards for projects including the Peace Hall Halifax, Douglas in the Isle of Man and public realm improvements of the City of Culture in Hull. Hardscape's expertise and innovation can be seen throughout the UK and online at hardscape.co.uk.